Hey guys, today we're going to talk about electrical conductors and insulators. First, I have in front of me a, an open circuit. This time I'm using a motor. I'll demonstrate a closed circuit by connecting it and you should be able to hear the motor run. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about electrical conductors first. An electrical conductor is any type of matter that allows electrical energy to flow through it. The way I can test this is by setting up my circuit just like this and taking various materials that I have in front of me. I have a piece of copper foil, a steel nail, a brass grommet, and a metal washer. And I'm going to connect or add that to my circuit. So rather than touching the wires together, I'm going to take the materials and I'm going to place the wires next on, on each end of it. So in this case, the copper foil, I place one wire on one side and one on the other. As you can see in here, the, the motor is running. What's happening is that electrical energy is flowing freely through the copper foil. Same thing is true with a steel nail. If I connect a steel nail into the circuit, it again will allow the electrical energy to flow through. A metal or a brass grommet does the same thing. And finally, a metal washer all of those will again will allow the electrical energy to flow through it. So in this case, metal is a very good conductor of electrical en energy because it allows the electrical energy to flow through the circuit. Now if we talk about electrical insulators, now electrical insulator is, is the opposite of an electrical conductor. An electrical insulator blocks or does not allow the electrical energy to flow through it. For example, I have a plastic chip here. If I place the wires up on either side of it, you'll notice that the electrical energy is not flowing through and therefore the motor is not running. You can't see it or hear it because the electrical energy is being blocked by the plastic chip. I have a rubber band. We can do the same thing. Again, when I connect the wires or the rubber band to the circuit, the circuit, uh, the rubber band does not allow electrical energy to flow through it. Two more items, the, the wooden popsicle stick and the piece of cardboard both will not allow electrical energy to flow through it. So in this case, items or pieces of matter such as wood, plastic, rubber, or cardboard or paper are considered electrical insulators because they do not allow or they block electrical energy from flowing through it.